starting at the front of my van and this is the driver's side. This is where my Reflectix are and I'm using popsicle sticks and clips to hold them in. They seem to have shrunk. I've had them on here for a while. When that is not in use, then I have a screen that I can put over the entire window. I have two shade screens, one for inside and one for out. This is the inside one. Over on the passenger seat is Peanut's bed. That is Peanut's drawer. My 12 volt fridge is on the floor over here and the Reflectix that goes in that window is on the floor down here. I have a console that is pretty much empty, nothing in it. And I just have a little bag down there for laundry. I have put rugs in here to keep the carpet in the van cleaner. And I bought a little car seat. That's the front. Coming around to the back of the van, you can see I have mosquito netting. I have it up on magnets. It was just a net that I had hanging around my house and I cut it up to use for this application. My roof rack thing is on top of the car. I have set up my cooking area over here. I have my table, my Berkey, a sink, a faucet, my little one burner. Then I've got my little cookware out here to show you. And then on the back, I have mosquito netting again that is going around the entire opening of the back of the van, keeping it bug free. Of course, I, if I wanted to mess with it and tuck it in even better and throw another magnet over here and another magnet over here, that would ensure that it would be totally inside and bug free. So here's a look from the back. So this is my table that I think is just the coolest camping table. I have a cooler down here, my faucet. I just have to unscrew this. This is 12 gallons of water that I've got on board right now. This is how I operate my faucet. Put that down in there. And then, running water. Our extra bamboo purifiers. I have shoe rack pockets that I took out of my house and cut up. It has a mixture of things. That's got pens, that's got a clothesline, some detergent, some bags, dice, and a couple of cards, decks of cards. And then that is a collapsible shovel. It's just extra trash bag. This is my Blue Eddy, which is my AC505. It's a 500 watt and my 120 watt solar panel is right here. I did a video on this. It's my solar panel and my blue eddy. So there's my, plus I have 150 watt power battery as well. In here, my bag with all my bungees go, this thing broke. So anything that's I use to attach anything to anything goes in here. Down here is my uh, butane. Underneath that are weapons, necessary weapons, an ax and two knives are down here. I have my little faucet holder in here, towels, wipes, extra things for sticky pads. So when this is not sitting here, it resides in my kitchen box. And what's cool about my kitchen box is it's got a countertop on it so I can use it to cook inside my van. I have found stacking things on their side has given me a lot more room in here. Of course, right now I've got this all out here, but once I pack it up, and put it away. I'll show you how I get everything inside this box. Okay, so I have put everything back into the kitchen box. So I'm gonna put the lid on it. So you can see paper towels. This is a net to go over your uh, cooking if you don't want bugs to get to it. I've got clamps, paper, uh, silverware, tablecloth, citronella candles. Underneath I have bowls, collapsible bowls camping plates, lids for the collapsible bowls, and an eight inch skillet, napkins, citronella candles, aluminum foil, 
vinegar water and there's a Dr. Bonner's bottle in here. Right here it is, right there. That's my kitchen This box. is my shower tent, privacy tent. So we'll step inside and in here you can see that I have my bucket set up for my shower and my little toilet and the cat litter is in the van otherwise I'd have it out here next to the toilet but there's the privacy tent. Coming around over here this is what I'm the happiest about. I made this structure for the mosquito net. I have two mosquito nets that I bought. One will go over the tailgate but I didn't do that today. I just wanted to set this up so you could see generally what my campsite would look like. So I've got the plastic tarp over the top with the reflectix on the top to block out the sun from coming in. I have my mosquito netting and now normally as we go in here, this would be on that side where that door is over there on that side of the van. But because of the way I'm parked, I had to set it up on this side. So you imagine that if I'm in my van and I wanna come out I can just come out of my van into my little sunroom right here and sit down and enjoy. It is really cool in here. It's amazingly cool, actually. So I have my little camping mat. It's a five by eight. This was purchased at Walmart. The chair I got at Walmart a long time ago. I've had it a while. There's a peanut. So this is my basic camp setup. You see, I have two outside. drawers over here. This one just has random items in it. This one has some boots, and this is my screen that goes on the outside of my front window. So we've just entered into the van. On the back seat of my van, I have a shoe rack that I like I said, I cut it all up and I've used it in different places in here. This is the coolest place of all to have my shoe rack. I used a bungee just around the neck part and I've got different items in here. When I, once I get out there and do, then all of this I'm sure is gonna change. But there's some towels and multi-tool and lights for the outside of the van that are motion sensor, um, some gloves if I wanna pump gas with gloves on my hands or just not touch something. Down here, this little bin, when I'm at camp, is gonna be sitting outside for my shoes. And this rug will also move outside onto the ground and uh, will be my welcome mat coming into my van. I've got a couple of little plants up in the front just for decor pain in the neck actually to take my screen out off and on because I got to take those off and then put them back on. I made curtains for my kitchen windows and they fit in here perfectly and they're just connected right here with velcro and I used uh, this rope. Tied a knot in it and I tucked it in with and then I also used an office clip to hold it in because just tying the knot it didn't work and then I've got velcro right here and then I added a headband to keep them tied back when I'm driving because if I've got my windows open they want to blow all over the place. Over here this is the back window and I've got my little pocket with the reflectix. I've got a couple of lanterns. I've got a USB fan. This is for music right here. It's a little Walkman that I've just kept out here. These are my fairy lights on the ceiling. And I've got another set up here. And then I just stuck this on here, just a little greenery in here, because I like plants. This is a bamboo purifying bag that I've got hung up. So if I want to separate the back area from the sleeping area, I can draw my curtains. The curtains hang up on a bungee that I tucked up inside of the seatbelt holder back here. 
I really tried to figure out what could I do to get a curtain rod and there you go so it's working great <clears throat> rides on down the road just fine yeah okay so over here I have my little blessed decor and then I've got a bigger lantern I've got a couple of little jars of shells my pillow that I accent pillow that I made and then I have this little thing I made last year, going my way. Um, and then down here is a pocket that I can put my keys in, things like that. So I'm under the bed now. And these are the bins that are actually the foundation of my bed. In this one, I have, as you can see, a whole lot of organic nutrition protein drinks. But underneath that, I have like two months supply of freeze-dried foods and rice that's already pre-cooked with the water in it. In this drawer, which is next to the back drawer that has the food in it, I put my bathroom items in here. So I have wipes, toilet paper, microfiber towels and washcloths, and then a big towel over here for peanut. In this drawer, is clothing and I try to fold my things in these are big hoodies that I managed to get down into a nice small fold but there's a lot of clothes in here and then this drawer is for clothes as well and there aren't any in here because I'm not going anywhere right now and then this is a piece of wood that was left over from the build and I decided to put some uh, mineral oil on it. I sanded it real smooth and tucked it under the bed for a little bit more support for the bed. But now I can also use it as a table. So it has a multi-purpose. My floor is leveled with these exercise pads. Not only level the floor, they add a lot of insulation and they, uh, shoot, a bee just got in my van. <laughs> Be averted. <laughs> it wasn't a bee, it was a wasp. Yeah, I got him out of there. Cool. I had to shut that door over there so it got dark in here, but this is my bed. I've done a video on the bed. I just have a six inch dense foam mattress with a one and a half inch topper on it with a sheet uh, safety pin around the whole thing to hold it in place. My pillows. Oh, back here. There are some cool things going on. Let me get these curtains out of the way. I have an empty spot right here because that's where my solar power sits and my toilet. I have three bins, see those down there? That I can get to, I can open them and I can put emergency equipment in there if I need to. This is my cat litter. This is my fire extinguisher, and this I'm gonna pull out because it really doesn't belong there, it belongs over here, it is a picnic blanket that folds out and then it zips on into itself, so which is really cool. That's where that goes. So I've got extra toilet paper. I've got some shopping bags that are extra in here. I've got some wipes down there. But my kitchen box, I can use it inside my van I as well. I got a new dish mat for the van. I needed a cutting board, so I got a cutting board for the van. This is all Dollar Tree. I bought a pair of scissors, which I used, and they're not in the bag. A lighter. Some more latex gloves. which they've been out of for a really long time. Another lighter, some of those. Sorry about the train, but they go through here all the time. And some of those might come in handy. So that's all going in the van as well. An overview of my camp setup from this side of the van.
Okay, so everything is packed back up into the van in its original position, ready to travel. I hope you have enjoyed this tour of my van. Leave a comment below what you think, and I will see you in the next video.